Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the School of Science. My name is Luke and this is the Brand More Project. Now looking over the sites, we have seen a nice little bit of a change over the course of the past couple of weeks. I do apologise for last week's one. I know it wasn't as big a hit as what we normally get just because we didn't really have much in terms of commentary. But I just felt with it being so uh, close between the two points and with the bank holidays and everything in between, it just... I wouldn't have been able to really talk about anything in that regard. But this week there's been a decent bit added to the site so we can actually have a little look around and everything. Talk about what's happened on the site as well as what's going to be happening in the near future because there has been some leaked news about certain things here and there that are going to be happening around the site over the course of the next, say, three weeks to the month. But looking over at the basin right now, you can actually see like there's a little mini road, set of roadways that have actually been brought through. I'm not sure whether they're actual genuine roadways or whether they are just the reclaimed rubble that have been sort of brought up around the site. I mean, they look like they've actually been set in, but to be honest, it could be either or. Just looking at them, they do almost look like the tread tracks that have actually been hit up. But other than that, around the... Around the basin itself, everything's just sort of bleeding in as time goes on, for the most part. Everything's just coming from the stands themselves, further and further into the basin itself. So if you were to look back at this a couple of months ago, you would notice that the basin was pretty much barren at this point in time, and everything was just solely around the stands and where the main stone is. But everything is coming in, which is great to see. Now, looking over on the west stands in the car park, we can see the groundwork is, as I've said, it was finished last week, well, two weeks ago, and they're slowly starting to get work on the pylons and everything, so the west stand itself is technically in the basin, so the pylons are going on right there, but the main areas for this one, it's just more in line with just getting everything prepped for when all the steel work comes in and everything. But looking over to the car park as well, there's a lot of work going on there as well. So there's actually a fair bit of storage around the back end of the site and everything. But that sh stuff should be cleared out fairly soon as they get prepared to put all the steel and everything in place. Now the south stands. The south stands is not much has changed really. Well, not too much has changed over there on the site. It's more in line with just the refining some of the bits that they've done around the site now more than anything because the steel is going to be coming in the very near future so it is going to be early may to late may that they should be getting the steel and it was told to me that it was meant to be in april so we're coming to the back end of april now and there hasn't been any steel that's actually been coming in so the person who's told me that i'm assuming either there might have been a slight delay or the person who's told me that has been given inaccurate information which it's a shame really because a lot of the stuff that we do get from around the site is mostly hearsay because actually speaking to contractors on site or by the site is kind of um kind of shunned almost i have had some people saying to me look we can't really discuss what's going on around the site we have signs this and that to say that we're not allowed to talk about this we can't put things on social media or take photos or anything like that mainly for privacy reasons but for the most part it's just they don't want to have the site developments shown around social media and everything because that's what Everton's media sides actually do. But looking over on the south sands and everything like that, we can see our favourite little uh, black box there. It's almost completely submerged now, so that's pretty much buried. So that I've heard many, many different things, and I'm still no clearer to what it actually is, whether it's actual ventilation duct, whether it's one of the sewage lines, or whether it could be where battery storage could be. It could be quite literally anything. It could be the tunnel to Narnia, for all we know. When, <laughs> because, as I've said, getting information out of these people is like getting blood from a stone. But everything else, everything's looking great right now. I'm really happy to see the site progressing as it is. And apparently one or two of the stat these actual support structures are actually completed as well. So from what I've been told. Whether that's true or not, I'm not 100% sure. But apparently the northeast one, so the one closest to our road, is apparently finished. And so is this one here, the northwest one, is apparently finished to the extent where they can actually start doing other things to it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on this again, this is not my area of expertise, I'm not an architect, I'm not a construction worker, I'm not even a hammer hand, I'm not really a labourer sort of person, so when I look at this sort of stuff, it's like, yeah, that's concrete, that's cement, cool. 
I can barely even tell you the difference between concrete and cement in all fairness. But everything looking over the site, everything is progressing. I'm seeing different bits here and there. Also, I sold these, um, the caps on top of these are actual, there's actually a purpose around them. I'm going to put the comments here. But someone did actually say to me that these caps on the uh, pylons actually have a purpose between them. What the purpose is, I'm not 100% sure. The comments will actually stipulate everything. But yeah, you're looking at the corner structures and everything. They are actually pretty much at their peak now. So they are, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. They're six high? I think it is. It's, a good, it's either six or eight high. I can't really tell from the angle I've got it here because I'm so I'm previewing this through the editor on a small screen so I can't see it all too clearly but I believe it's between six and eight slabs high and these slabs I believe were 12 foot initially so it's it's blooming high height to say the least this is where this is where the actual structure of the stadium and everything it's very hard to see the shape as to, at this point but I think once we've got very bare framework in everything is going to start looking absolutely amazing it's going to be one of the more exciting points once the framework and everything gets in these videos are really going to get to life because that stuff will go fairly quick also if you can see the camera sort of teetering and everything i do apologize about that i got caught in a crosswind as i was coming down here trying to get the video as quickly as possible and it did buffer me a little bit here and there, but as a whole, we were all good. We were able to get a decent amount of the footage, and we can actually see fairly clearly what's going on around the site, which is always a massive bonus. But looking down through the actual support structures, it's interesting because it it's it is a stair. It's not actually a stairway from the looks of it. There must be a stairway that's going to get put in later. But just looking over that, it didn't look like one. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all my patrons over here. Now, if you want to be like any of these guys and get yourself on the sidebar, get ad-free content and early access to the videos, why not go over to the Patreon and become a part of the School of Science Superfan? Now, we have got two tiers there, so the first one being the Cup of Coffee tier. Now, that one doesn't have any real perks or privileges. You are essentially giving me a pound and saying, Luke, I like what you're doing, mate. Here's a pound on me, go get yourself a cup of coffee. It helps the channel very significantly and I am forever grateful for all of my cup of coffee tier guys. I am also entirely grateful to all the School Science Superfan members as well. So if you want to be like these guys, you get early access to the videos, ad free content, your name's in the sidebar and you do help the channel significantly. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to afford the software that I'm using to edit these videos. I wouldn't be able to keep using drones and everything so i wouldn't be able to keep having these sorts of drones because believe it or not there's actually insurance on these things they are a nuisance they do come out the air they do get damaged now thankfully i am fortunate enough that i've not had any damage done to this but i have been able to upgrade the sd card and propellers and other little bits and pieces here and there for this over the course of time i am hoping to upgrade it though in the future because what's going to happen is there's a dji mavic mini 3 that little guy has actually got a cellular network so what happens is it doesn't communicate via the satellite actually no sorry that's a lie it communicates via both satellite and cellular so what happens is you actually can use tower signals around your area to communicate between you and the remote so it actually makes things just a little bit quicker because as good as the, my, my little mavic mini is if i need to do evasive maneuver so let's say for argument's sake we've got a seagull that's feeling extra plucky that day one of the seagulls decided you know what screw that drone going over for Bramley Moore screw him in particular and wants to take it down I haven't got the time to sort of do you know like a manoeuvre to move either above it below it or either sides of it it does have a little bit of a delay between remote and drone so yeah, being able to upgrade this sort of stuff through you guys actually being able to help provide for it, doing it through my YouTube, doing it through Patreon, everything just helps me significantly to actually do all this sort of stuff over the course of time and to provide you with better quality footage over time because you've probably noticed these videos have went from being 1080p, reasonably decent videos, to now 2K, 1440p videos, so nice and crisp. That's all down to you guys, so thank you so much for that sort of stuff. And I have rambled on for three minutes now, so I do apologize. I will now end the video here. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace.